The just shall live by faith. God has sent his servant Reverend Joseph Matko as an arrow shot to the heart of the nations with the gospel of the miraculous and the reality of the Godhead. Having given him this three arms, revelatory word, signs and wonders, and prosperity. Also commissioning him to reveal the realities of the spiritual realm in the physical realm. Now let us join Reverend Joseph Matko as he dwells into God's truth for spiritual insight. Genesis chapter number one. We have been looking at the teaching of the stars. The moon the sun, the heavenly bodies and how these things uh, affect our lives and our destinies. Now there's a dimension I want to take this morning that I feel is very, very important. And uh, your understanding of what I'm going to share today will determine a lot about your life and your destiny. You know, the Bible says wisdom and understanding shall be the stability of the year times. The more you understand something, the more stable your life becomes. The more you understand the truth about finances, the more stable your finances are. The more you understand the truth about marriage, the more stable your marriage becomes. The more uh, understanding you have about any issue, your understanding determines the stability of your life. And Solomon in Proverbs 24, I believe it's verse 10, he says, A wise man is strong. Yea, a man of knowledge increaseth in strength. That is stability. Say in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 10, he talks about the verse 17, he talks about her ways, talking about wisdom. He says, Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and her paths are paths of peace. He was praising wisdom in Proverbs 3, from verse 16, 17, and 18. 17 or 18, there he says, Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and her paths are paths of peace. So you see, your stability, your peace in anything you do is determined by the understanding you possess in that area. I've been telling you and I'll keep repeating it. There is nothing called luck in life. Anything that happens to you is directly proportional to your knowledge or your ignorance. I think it was in the month of November that I told us your tears are proportional to your ignorance. Your sorrow, your misfortunes, your failures, your tears, they are proportional to your ignorance. And your joys, your success and your accomplishment is proportional to your understanding. The book of Psalms, they say, is give me understanding. Psalms 119, verse 144. Psalms 119, 144, it says, give me understanding and I shall live. And then it's in the same Proverbs that says, he that wanders from the path of understanding, he shall dwell in the congregation of the dead. So, 
your understanding determines the life you draw and your lack of it determines the misfortunes of your life see before God does anything he gives a word rather he enlightens people the enlightenment of God determines the workings of God. God will not do anything in your life until he enlightens you first. So you can determine what God is about to do in your life by the kind of light that is coming your way. So it's not, oh God, do it. Oh God, I pray, oh God, remember me. Uh -uh. He, he, he speaks to you understanding. And then when your heart understands, then he begins to walk. Any breakthrough that comes by surprise will not stay with you. Anything that just happens and then it just happened and you thank God, oh hallelujah, it happened, oh Jesus. It will never stay with you because you don't know how it came. Solomon speaking in that Proverbs 24 verse 3, it says, through wisdom a house is built and by understanding it is established. Is it your establishment, your stability, in you know, understanding? And by knowledge, the rooms are filled there with precious things. So, as your understanding grows in the things of God, your cost keeps on enlarging. So, you can determine your accomplishments by the rate of understanding that is coming your way. It's all about insight. Is all about depth. Is it not written in Acts chapter 28, verse 27? It says, Lest they hear with their hearts and they see with their eyes, and then they understand again with their hearts, and then they shall turn and they shall heal them. So your understanding is your turning point. Things turn in your favor when you understand God's counsel about them. In Acts chapter 8, from verse 38, we see this Ethiopian eunuch who was reading the book of prophet Isaiah. He had come from Jerusalem to worship and he was on his way. And then the spirit said to Philip, join that chariot. And he joined the chariot, you remember? And Philip asked the guy who happened to be an African. He was an Ethiopian. And that's what they say, if you want to write anything from Africa, put it in a book. I think it's a curse upon the black man. Because even the black man was reading and understood not what he was reading. The Bible is very clear. It says it was an Ethiopian. It's a black man. And Philip asked him, understand thou what thou readest? I mean, Acts 8 from verse 32 down there to verse 42. He says, how can I unless someone explains to me? He says, what are you reading? And he was reading the book of prophet Isaiah. Talking about the coming of Jesus. And he was asking Philip, this one is talking about when is he coming? Now, Jesus had already resurrected and went up to heaven. So you can read and not understand. <laughs> and the Bible says, beginning from that scripture. Philip explained the things of the kingdom. See, when Philip explained, his understanding opened. And in the wilderness, the Bible says, he said, see, here is water. See, here is water. See, here is water. He could not see water until he understood the gospel. I pray to God that whatever you're lacking in life, after this sermon, your understanding shall be enlightened and you shall see your water in Jesus name so when you understand you begin to see you just understand you see a guy flew in a certain country and uh, after landing he wanted his shoes to be done so he walked round and round and round he said is there anyone who can do my shoe here no one no one ah. he said backward country kind of nonsense is this. He took his next flight and came back. Coincidentally, 
when he was flying back someone else had just landed and he too was looking for someone to do what to do his shoes and he looked around and there was no one and he began to rejoice he said finally I found something to do so there is no big problem there is no small problem your understanding determines your problems where you see a roadblock someone else is seeing a highway you understand it you see when David came before Goliath everyone was talking about the mightiness of Goliath you remember the Bible says for 40 days they discussed Goliath 40 days including Saul I tell you and then Goliath had five brothers and they had six toes read your Bible well it was Goliath and his four brothers there were five all of them are six toes the guy who was holding the shield of Goliath could not be seen Goliath was a giant but all the children of Israel didn't take their time to study that's why Timothy was advised by Paul study to show yourself approved because when David came on the scene and he saw Goliath <laughs> one Goliath means a passage hmm. a breakthrough a highway so David never discussed the the stature of Goliath he said what will be given can you see when you have understanding your questions are different and he was told and he was told and he was told and he was told while they were saying this guy is too big he's going to crush us David says he's too big for me to miss it's all about understanding you see your courage in life is determined by your depth of insight I pray to God that the problem that has been chasing you this year 2015 shall be buried this year in Jesus name all about understanding it's not what you say it's not what you do it's what you understand so there's something I want to share with us on these issues of stars sun, moon and the, the, the issues we going to discuss about uh, the star appearing I was moved in my heart yesterday night to take this dimension are you ready for God's word lift up your right hand of fire Lord open my understanding Go ahead and pray that prayer. Open my understanding this morning. La kiso pro za gresha des. La gratu bra desulia da gasatos. Zima baras katues. E prisa katu barrea todos. Jagresa clori da lesa katoros. In Jesus' name. Prayer number two, any power blocking my understanding, loose me and let me go. Go ahead and pray. Any power blocking my understanding, you are a liar. Loose me now. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Any power blocking my understanding, you are a liar. You are a liar. Lose me and let me go. Masaka Panda Liboso Capurius Maracatia Maria Tokos Maziza Zezuria Reria Catoyas. I like you to pray that prayer with everything in you. Jesus name we pray now put your right hand on your head say my understanding my understanding hear the word of the Lord open by fire command your understanding to open oh my God 
It must open. It must open. It must open. It must open. Oh, Marika Tolia Baziza. Oh my God, it must open. Go ahead and pray. My understanding must open. It 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 must open in the name of Jesus. It must open. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now give me your attention. Tuesday night on radio, we began with Matthew chapter 2. Verse 1, talking about now in Bethlehem, Judah. There were wise men who had news that Jesus had been born. I think it's good to go there before looking at Genesis chapter 1. Matthew 2, verse 1 and 2. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, yes. in the days of Herod the king, in the days of Herod the king, behold there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. I told you these were not just wise men. They were astrologers. They were people deep in the occult. They understood how the heavenly bodies walk. You remember? Yes. Saying, where is he that is born now, king of the Jews? Now, verse 2, together, one to go. Saying, where is he that is born king of the Jews? Yes. For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. Now, they had not seen the baby. They had seen the star. And I told you, in the realm of life, or in the realm of the spirit, you don't appear as a human being. You appear as a star. Abby? Okay. Um, let me shed some light on this. Revelations chapter 1, please. Verse 20. Verse 19 and verse 20. Revelations 1. Write the things which thou hast seen and the things which are and the things which shall be hereafter. Are you in Revelations? Yes, sir. Verse 20. The mystery of the seven stars. Can you see again in Revelation it talks about the mystery of the seven stars. Are we together? Continue. The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand. Which thou sawest. So Jesus was holding seven stars in his right hand and seven candlesticks. Mm. Continue, sir. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches. Yes. And the seven candlesticks which and the thou sawest. Seven candlesticks. Which thou sawest are the seven churches. Which thou sawest are the seven churches. That's why in 30, on 31st, we are having candlelight. Mm. Yes, sir. There is nothing we do in this church unless it's in the scripture. In heaven, Jesus stands with seven stars on his right hand and seven candlesticks. So on the 31st, when you light your candle, You'll be lighting your life for the year 2016. Amen. So it's not just ceremonial. Oh, hallelujah. Please, the lights are off. Oh, he. No, we are in the spirit. It says the seven candlesticks are the seven churches or destinies. And the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches. So like in this church, my star is the one that shines the brightest. And then your stars gain strength from my star. Amen. That's why your alignment to my anointing determines your shining. Amen. In every congregation, God appoints an angel or a star 
And then he draws other stars. Your pastor can't go up and remain the same unless you are a witch. Therefore, I prophesy as the Lord liveth from today, the God who lifts me up shall lift you up also in the name of Jesus. The moon has no light of itself. It only positions itself where it can draw light from the sun. That's why it says, as we look unto him, as they behold him, they are changed from glory to glory. So as you look unto my God, then your, your star begins to shine. You see, we don't need to know each other. Because it is not proximity. It's not how many calls you make. Uh -uh. I may not even know your name. But in the realm of the spirit, your star is so connected to my star. Amen. So where your prayers fail, mine carry you. Amen. That's the thing now. That's what happened in, uh, in, in the wilderness. The Bible says Moses was the great eagle. And he carried them on eagle's wings. He carried the children of Israel until in chapter, chapter 10 of 1 Corinthians, the Bible says they were baptized into Moses, not into God. Baptized into Moses. So the wise man said, we have seen his star. And Revelation talks about the stars in heaven symbolizing individuals on earth. See, and to every man, there is a star. I want to go deeper. Can I go deeper? Any woman who gets pregnant, usually in the realm of the spirit, they get special attention from spirits. Whether of God or of the enemy. Why? A pregnant woman is the only human being who is carrying two stars in one body. She's carrying her star and the star of the baby. I strongly believe no matter how pregnant you are, you need your prayer schedule to be intact. You cannot say you're pregnant, you cannot pray. You're making a big mistake. Most of the challenges pregnant women go through when they are pregnant, it is not for them. It is the star they are carrying. So you find when you're pregnant, some people leave you, some opportunities die, da 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 da. It's not you. That battle is for the star you're carrying. See, your first life you lived on water, not on land. Oh. Oh, yes. That's why they say the baby is kicking. Where is he kicking? In the waters. And you can communicate while in your mother's womb. You can be demonized while in your mother's womb. And you can be filled with the Holy Ghost. Oh, look at you now. Uh -huh. Elizabeth met Mary. Elizabeth was six months pregnant. Mary also was pregnant. And Jesus in the womb laid hands on John in, on, on, the, on the head of John in the womb. And John got filled with the Holy Ghost in the womb. So in the world of waters, babies communicate. I like to caution you if you're pregnant. There are people who will never visit you. There are places you should never go. There are things you should never say. Because everything you do during your pregnancy, the star inside is recording. One of my elders here, I will not mention her name. She told me, when I was pregnant with my firstborn, the firstborn now is 20 plus years, I was born again to daddy. I was a heavy smoker. I used to drink. Carnival was my second home. 
I gave birth to this my daughter under such conditions. Hmm. Daddy, my daughter now is smoking, is drinking, and pubs is a second home. It means when she was carrying the girl, anywhere she went, the girl, the girl recorded. The waters became a witness. Thou shall visit pubs. Anytime she smoked, the girl also partook. So we are smoking together. My prayer for you, whatever entered your life, when you're in your mother's womb, may the power of the Lord disconnect you now. Any negative thing that entered your life while in your mother's womb, I command it to die. 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 Maybe your mother was pregnant at that time. You wanted to go to US and they denied him visa. To this day, you cannot get not even visa tickets to go to Uganda is a battle. Because it was registered in your mother's womb. You don't travel here. You lift up a right hand of fire. Begin to pray any negative thing that was deposited in my life while in my mother's womb. Out. Pray. Oh. Masakatoria basotoro buzan. Lera bahatu bahetayes. Ere sapro 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 sapro. Command it to die. Command it to die. Marakataya zetos. Imra geturia Maria gataya. Out of my life. Out of my life. Out of my life. Masokoporia maya namaba. Oh my God. Oh my God. Somebody is praying. Marika poa. Mazu zezi zaziza. Continue. 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 Masika panda leba sokoporia. Marakataya Maria Davos in the river of the door of us. Loose me now. Loose me now. I command you out. Loose my destiny. Loose my star. In the mighty name of Jesus. You evil program. In Jesus. Name we pray. So when you're pregnant, be careful who touches your womb. There are people who have this habit. Oh, hallelujah. Maybe it's your mother-in-law in Kakamega who consults. I tell you, this is your service of rescue. But there's somewhere I'm going. The wise man said, we have seen his star, we have come to worship him. And da, 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 da. Let's go back to Genesis now, chapter 1. I want to show you something about the stars. Remember, and to every human being, there is a star. And your star lives in your heavens. But this time, if you've been a keen listener of my programs on truth, Oh, you remember Miracle Life Assembly? We are aware there is a heaven over your head that determines where you go, what you do, your friends, everything. True or false? Now, your star lives in your heavens. See, chapter 28 of Deuteronomy verse 23, it says, Thy heavens over thy head, and the earth beneath thy feet. But in Genesis chapter 1, I like us to read from verse 1 until I tell you to stop. 
Genesis chapter 1, please. Clear your throat. Oh. Wonderful. The way you're clearing your throat. You guys, I can't remember when last you fasted. I think you've eaten a lot. When you're saying, mm, I just feel spirits. <laughs> All right. Genesis 1.1. One, one. Are, we, are we ready? Yes, to go. Everyone? In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Uh-huh. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face, the face of, of the deep. deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the, the waters. waters. And God said, let there be light. Let there be light. And there was light. There was light. And God saw the light that it was good. Uh huh. And God divided the light from the darkness. Continue. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. Uh huh. And the evening and the morning were the first day. Uh huh. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. Yes. And let it divide the waters from the waters. Continue. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. Mm -hmm. And Verse God, 8. And God called the firmament heaven. Yes. And the evening and the morning were the second day. Now verse 9. Verse 9. Verse 9. And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together in yes. one place. Yes. And let the dry land appear. And it was so. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth. Continue. And the gathering together of the waters called he seas. Yes. And God saw that it was good. Verse 11. And God said... Let the earth bring forth grass, mm -hmm. the, the herb yielding seed, yes. the fruit tree yielding fruit. Continue, continue. After his kind, whose seed is in itself mm. upon the earth. Yes. And it was so. And the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after his kind. And the tree, and the yielding, tree yielding fruit, fruit yes. whose seed was in itself uh -huh. after his kind. Yes. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and morning were the third, were day. The third day. Now, Verse 14, loud and clear. And God said, Let, Let there, there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. From the night. And, and let, let them be, be for, for signs and for, seasons, and for seasons and for days and for days and years. And for years. Hmm. Verse 15. And let, let them, them be, be for, for lights light in the firmament, in the firmament of the, the heaven, heaven to give light upon the earth. Yes. And it was so. Verse 16, please. And, and God, God made, made two great lights. The greater light to rule the day. And the lesser light to rule the night. He made the, the stars, stars also. also. Continue. Verse 17. And God said, set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. Uh huh. And to rule over the day and over the night. Yes. And to divide the light from the darkness. Uh huh. And God saw that it was good. And the evening. And the morning was the fourth day. Now, notice when God created the sun, the moon, and the stars, he said, let them be for signs. Season. For seasons. For days. For days. And, years. and for years. It, it, it means that these heavenly bodies determines the times and the seasons of life. True or false? Yes. And he made the stars also which are part of the constellation in the heavenly bodies. That tells me that the activities inside your star determines your times, your seasons, your days, and your years. Listen to me very carefully. I want to talk to you. God does not do things anytime. Every agenda of God over your life lies on particular time zones. So there is a general time and then there is the appointed time. E.g. When God plans to lift a man, a nation, a place, a thing, he does not do it anytime. There is a particular time
time that if you align with God, rather, if your star aligns with God, at that time, good things happen. Let's take a good example. The mystery of procreation. I've used this example, some of you, Mekwazika, I have no apology. I have no apology. I've said, you can sleep with a woman from morning till evening using all styles you know. If she is not at that time to conceive, will she conceive? Okay, you make noise at her, you are not conceiving, nonsense. There's a power binding you. Will she conceive? Okay. Why? Is it because you are not laboring? Okay, in no labor, there is profit. Abi, how come? If you do it at that time when she's not, the egg is not ready for fertilization, she will not get pregnant. Now, if you sleep with your wife at a time when the egg is ready and you're not serious, you're greeting her. <laughs> the egg does not know you're not serious. Why? It is time. If God put that mystery in man, advise yourself, it is the same mystery that controls any activity around your destiny. Now, Satan's main strategy is to crowd you so that you miss your divine times and your divine seasons. So that he keeps you laboring just like that man who sleeps with the wife the whole day and it's not your time. And that's the mystery of stagnation. When you miss your divine time and season of doing a particular thing, you enter into struggle. You sow seed, you pray, you fast, you decree, nothing's happening. Why? You miss your time. Let's go to Luke chapter 19. Let's look at how Jesus addressed a people who miss their divine times and seasons. Because I pray to God that you shall not miss your appointed times. Yeah. Your stars shall not be crowded by demonic powers. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, yeah. I shall not miss my divine times and seasons. I cannot hear you. I don't like the way you are praying that prayer. Are you sure you are believing the prayer you are praying? Can you roll like thunder? My star, my star. You shall not miss your divine times and seasons. In Luke chapter 19. Oh, Rahisa Braskotos. Oh, Mahadis. Oh, Shadis. Acresa pluria ashkadi dadas. Lekata di sakotorias. Aradi zazo bra lekada. Ereli rakadula breria nagade ato 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 ato. I prophesy any power aside to make you miss your divine times and seasons. Shasa masota da. Oh, since there is a time when heaven kisses earth, oh God, there is a time when divinity joins with humanity. There is a time you shall not miss it. In Luke chapter 19, Jesus talks about a people who have missed their times. Luke 19 from verse 40. 41. Yes, yes, and yes. When yes. he was come near, when he was come near, he beheld the city yes. and wept over it. Say, yes. Uh -huh. If thou hast now he known. wept. And it's the same yesterday, today, and forever. To this day, Jesus weeps when you miss your time. Look at it. Look, let's read together. Luke 19, verse 42. Everyone, please. 
saying, Yes. If thou hast known, even thou, at least in this thy day, Yes. The things which belong unto thee. I don't like peace. the way you're reading. Can you read that verse as if it's a personal verse? Say, If thou hast known, even thou, at least in this thy day, The things? The things which belong unto thy peace. But now they are hid from thine eyes. For the days shall come upon thee. For the days shall come upon thee. That thine enemies shall cast a trench about thee. Yes. And compass thee round. Yes. And keep thee in on every side. Verse 44. And shall lay thee even on the ground. And thy children within thee. And they shall not leave thee one stone upon another. Because thou knowest not the time. Of thy visitation. Jesus said the enemy is having a free day. No, because he's strong. It's because his people. Don't have the knowledge of times and seasons. So some challenges you are going through is not because Satan is strong. He just organizes on how he will crowd your life so that you miss your day of visitation. And when you miss your day of visitation, you go back to labor, struggle, prayer point after prayer point. Let me ask you a question. The way you've been praying from January to now, you want to tell me God is so busy he cannot answer your prayer? Is he not the one who says, call upon me? And I'll answer you. Uh -huh. But the challenge is, when the answer comes, Satan ensures you don't have the knowledge of times and seasons. The sons of Issachar, they understood the times and the seasons. Listen. There is a time when God makes all things beautiful in your life. I want to go deeper. In John chapter 2, let's go there. God does not do things anytime. There is that time. John 2 Verse 4, I believe. Verse 4. Verse 4. Jesus said unto her. Jesus said unto her, the mother now. Woman. Woman. What have I to do with thee? What have I to do with thee? Mine hour. Mine hour. Is not yet come. So can you see that Jesus was conscious of divine times and seasons? Mother said, oh yeah, please do miracles here. He said, hmm. That a Messiah, it doesn't mean it works any time. There is a time. Chapter 5, John. John chapter 5. It's a classic example. This guy who had an infirmity for 38 years, that was the duration of the infirmity, not his age. At the pool of Bethesda, he said, any time I want to enter the water, someone else enters. Any time I want... Be honestly speaking, I think this guy had a challenge. Why could he not have stayed in the water? Can no wisdom. True or false? Because you don't know when this angel comes. Live there. So that when he comes, you're ready. The Bible says, for the angel came at a certain time. So when you miss your season, you have to wait for the next season. I want to go deeper. You find that when you begin to pray for a spouse, Igadaba, Heraba, my husband, my husband, appear, appear, appear. And then the angel picks him. And Satan says, ah, ah, this one is going to get married in December 2016. Ah, so around October, send him a strange man from Abuja. Let the man crowd her space until she cannot see. So all of a sudden, this guy takes notice of you. SMS, call, what not, everything. He crowds your mind until you, be, you make him a prayer point. Father, is it the one? Oh God, open my eyes. He comes with all goodies. While the one that God wants you to have is somewhere around the corner. So, 
the angel lingers around with your breakthrough. October, the man has taken you to a Kragana. November, you are in South Africa. <laughs> December, you are not even in church. You are busy in seashells. There. And then now, when Satan sees your angel go, has gone back, the man also disappears. So in January, you begin again. My husband, my husband. So even if you attend embargo of single who shall be broken, you have to wait for another season. I pray for you again. The power that is assigned to make you miss your divine times and seasons, that power dies in the name of Jesus. You've been sowing, you've been giving seeds, you've been tithing, and then now God brings your bumper harvest. There is this one contract that if you sign, oh my God, you cross from thousands to millions. That month, an enemy makes your mother to be sick, your grandmother in Makueni. I tell you. And because you don't have the knowledge of times and seasons, your trip is Makweni back, Makweni back, Makweni back, Makweni back. So the angels lingering around with this, your contract. And Satan knows how to keep you busy until your season elapses. A certain guy had prayed for a job. Oh God. This brother prayed. He prayed. He prayed. He prayed. And then he got a good, good job. With an oil company. And he was told, just come for interview as a formality. But, oh yeah, the one we are taking. Interview starts at 9. I was told. Uh, the guy was there by 8.15. Suited. Had prayed in tongues in the morning. And noted himself and go forth. When he got to the lift and enter the lift the lift got stuck it was there with three other people by the time they called the engineer he also took his time two hours by the time they opened the lift it was at two when interviews were already done There is this old man had applied for a certain contract in US. Europe, sorry. Now, this, this baffled me and everyone who had this story. He won the contract. They sent the letter to him many years ago. The letter took four years to get him, to get to him. Four good years. That delay was not human. You lift up your right hand of fire. Begin to pray. The power aside to cause me to miss my times and my seasons. That power dies now. May this altar swallow that power. Begin to pray. Power that make me miss my divine times and seasons. I like you to pray with aggressiveness. You demonic powers. Satanic those that make me lose my divine times and seasons. I command you now. Lose my life. Lose my destiny. Lose my career. Lose my business. In the name of Jesus. I shall not miss my times. I shall not miss my seasons. I shall not miss my times. I shall not miss my seasons. Open up your mouth and pray. Maseke tenda liba katurias. Ria pakatalama. Manaranda liba rate ya buzo proskadias. Inda repagata. Rika pande bakapurias. Irake tadi, dadi, dadi. In Jesus' name we pray. 
What makes one miss is divine times and seasons. Number one. When there is ancestral programming in your time zones, certain things happen to you at certain time of the year. You can't remember Christmas, you had money. You can't remember. Others, it is October. Others, it is no. Something happens during a particular month or a particular season. It's a sign that there is a power that has captured your time and your seasons. Others, it happens in circles. After every seven years, something happens. After every three years, something happens. I want to go deeper. If you notice that your date of birth coincides with the date of birth of your parents, there is a problem. Your mother was born March 4th. You are born March 5th. <laughs> Check the dailies. They tell you Capricorn, Sagittarius, blah, blah, blah. Between this month and this month. True or false? So this thing that programmed. That the day the star of your mother appeared. It's the same month or season your star appeared. It's because your time zones are tied with ancestral power. So you find that whatever happens to your mother will be directly fired into your star. That's why 31st. See, there is something over my head. Oh. There is oil to destroy any negative programming in your life. Don't miss any service today. Tomorrow morning I'm on radio. Tuesday morning I'm on radio. Wednesday morning I'm on radio. Thursday I'm on radio. And Thursday evening candlelight. Because you must be loosed. I said you must be loosed. Your laughter shall be the loudest. God spoke to me. God told me 2016 is your year of laughter. That means everyone who believes in my grace, they shall begin to laugh. And your laughter begins today. When, what happens for people to miss their times and seasons? When there is ancestral programming in your time zones. You know that by some of these coins, you call them coins, it's not coincidence, it's, it's programmed. Find the month of December, three people in the same family celebrate their birthdays. Who are you December 1st? Who are you 24th? Mungini 27th. Say we are blessed as we celebrate birthday this month. <laughs> Ignorance, I tell you, he says my people are destroyed. That shows how your ancestral lineage has mapped out your destinies. All your stars are lined up in your bloodline. Let me ask your neighbor, do you understand what that man is saying? Are you here or are you asleep? Can you connect anything he's saying with your life? Can I ask your neighbor? Who? Or you're like the Ethiopian eunuch, ask them. So we miss divine times and seasons when there is ancestral programming in our time zones. So check. Take an inventory of your life. What is this thing that happens every January? Anytime you lose money, it's usually around July, August, September. Your Januarys are dry. Struggle, struggle, struggle. And then around March, April, things begin to take shape. Oh, and then, hallelujah, from glory to glory. Then again, January. Mm. 
what is that thing that causes you any church you join it's starting that you are very good to be with pastors when they are in their small beginnings check the first church you joined the other church you joined even after joining this one and God increased as you left and where you went to join they were starting what is this thing following your life Every major man of God in the country, you used to be a PA. You used. Used. That's all you're bitter. Say, I ah, nowadays they don't greet me. I used to, uh, to, to, to wash their clothes. I used to iron for them. And, mm, blah, blah, blah. Where are you now? You're in a small church somewhere in River Road. A pastor's always starting. Something happens and you're out. Lord, show me the way. It is not the Lord. There is something that is programmed into your life. How come that all men that come your way are jobless? They, and they are genuine. They are born again. They don't lie. The ones that have good jobs, ah, thieves. But the ones you feel that your heart is warming up, small, small, blah, 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 they, all of them are struggling. You remember Kimani? You met Kimani when he had a job. When he came into your life, something happened and you began paying for his bus fare, just like you paid for Macau. I told you a story of a pastor called Pastor Timko. You remember Timko? Ah. It's all about the stars, the times and the seasons. Take time and study your times and your seasons and see if there is a pattern. It will help you understand the prayers you need to pray. Number two. When do people miss their times and seasons? When their star is covered by an evil blanket. Now how do you know you're covered by an evil blanket? Simple. When you're talented but tired. You're qualified but no expression. You're covered. Your star is covered. Your glory is covered. You have done geology in campus, but you're a waiter in Trattoria. Your star is covered. You walk like an elephant, but you eat like an ant. Your star is covered. The people you do well to, they repay evil for good you have given them. Your star is covered. When your star is covered, there is a mark of rejection. You can't keep good people. You attract them, but to keep them is wahala. Even as a pastor, you begin pastoring, God brings people, rich people, good people, blah, 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 blah. Once they come to your church, they cannot stay more than two months. They always find something that causes them to leave. The same in business. You get a destiny helper who begins to connect your business from one level to another. By the time he connects with this one to that one, they, they look at you, they hate your look and the way you're handsome. The way you're beautiful. You, you know the way you paint yourself, red, yellow every morning. It's only when you go to bed that they read you. You know sometimes, please oh, as you paint yourself, please, they don't take it far. Don't look like a masquerade. You know, there's a way you can paint yourself. Huh? When you take a bath in the evening, the one that was in the day and the one that's going to bed, there are two different people. It's a masquerade. Hmm? 
Men, let me advise you. If you want to propose, don't propose during the day. Visit her at night when she's going to bed. The, the, the real her will appear. All the pimples that have been covered by foundation will come out by fire. <laughs> but when your star is covered, you find the powers that cause you to lose to miss your times and seasons and what covers your star it is what we call an evil garment ah mokosu brakatias ah yeah 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 chapter what zachariah please zachariah talks about a priest a bishop whose star was covered that even when he was praying satan would say ah, ah your prayers are going nowhere and this is a bishop Look at it, Zechariah. Chapter 3. Yes, 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 yes. Verse number 1. And he showed me Joshua, the high priest. So even men of God, their stars can be covered. So that your preaching doesn't mean you're exempted. It is not preaching that breaks the yoke. It's the anointing. Amen. Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan also. Satan had the audacity to stand. Rido, look at verse 1 again, Zechariah 3 1. And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord. Yes. And Satan standing at his right hand. Satan had the audacity him. to attend prayer meeting. <laughs> May he scatter by fire. Who? Amen. Yes, verse 2, verse 2. And the Lord said unto Satan, God said to Satan, The Lord rebuked thee, the Lord o rebuked Satan, you, even the Lord that hath chosen Jerusalem. The Lord that has chosen Jerusalem. Rebuke thee. Rebuke thee. Is not this a brand plucked out Joshua of fire? Joshua has suffered. He's like a brand plucked out of fire. This man has gone through a lot. Continue, continue. Now Joshua. Now Joshua was clothed with He filthy was garments, clothed with what? Filthy garments. Filthy garments. And stood before the angel. This was not physical. His star was covered. And what causes a filthy garment to come upon your star? Top on the list is idolatry. The worship of other gods. Oh God. My time is up. We will continue. I want us to pray. Ah, you will come for the whole night. Nonsense. If you want more, listen tomorrow and uh, when? And Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. But I want us to pray. Listen, there are, there are about 12 things. I'm just number two. Just number two. I know that I know that heaven has anointed me in this season to remove any evil embargo on your star. Listen, you shall shine, oh. You shall shine. I, I said you shall shine. The days of stagnation, the days of failure, the days of poverty, the days of struggles, the days of tears, those days are over in the name of Jesus. There is one prayer I'll pray for you in the all night. It is a prayer to capture back your lost times. Oh my God. You know, the beauty of the realm of the spirit, anything that you have lost, you can recover. Yeah. There's a beauty about it. About it. The realm of the spirit, everything is there. Your past, your future, and your present is in a moment. I pray for you. Listen, the 31st, we are not eating. You have eaten enough. Now begin fasting tomorrow. Skip a meal tomorrow, eat two. And then Wednesday eat two, Tuesday eat two, and then Wednesday eat one, and then Thursday don't eat at all. That's a good shadu. Abi? Uh -huh. So that Thursday, when you enter there with your candle, is your spirit holding the candle, not your body. And when you don't eat managu and fish and then come and hold candle. That's witchcraft. Are you listening? Tomorrow how many meals? Tuesday, how many meals? 
Wednesday? Thursday? None. You will eat next year. <laughs> you will say, I fasted from 2016 to 2015, 2016. Don't eat. Don't hold that candle with chicken in your stomach. I want by the time you enter the dome, hush, it is a spirit walking. And on Thursday, akuna kelele nyingi. No calls, calls here, no chewing, chewing gum here and there. Uh -uh. You said, if you're not at work, stay at home. Reserve energy for night prayer. If there's anyone that you have bitterness to, against or brother, forgive them. Come to the all night with an empty heart. Very light spirit. Because you see, in the all night, I want to command the angels of laughter to enter your star. And listen, I will lock them there until December. Lock them there until December. Until now God speaks again about 2017. And you know 2017, God giving us grace will be in our own place. Yeah. Look at you. You remember we began this year in Du Bois Road. And I told you we will not finish this year in River Road. Is it not working? And I have plans as grace, as grace is on my side. Around June, July, we need to open our own radio station. Yeah. It's our ear of laughter. God has spoken to me concerning many things in 2016. Among them, I, 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 listen, I have no doubt, no ounce of doubt I know 2016 there are people here who are going to buy houses. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I know it so deeply in my spirit. This year I've dedicated many cars. Next year will be houses. Yeah. Will be daddy this house. Next month that house. The other month that house. During Christmas season I was in prayer. And one of the things God spoke to me, told me, He spoke many things. I can't say, tell every, I can't tell you everything today. I'm reserving grace for 31st. But I, I, it was so clear about houses. It was so clear. So clear. If you've been a tenant, get ready. I don't know how it's going to happen. All I know is the power of the highest shall come upon your star. And you shall become a landlord. It shall happen. Oh, I tell you. Oh. See, our laughter as a commission in 2016 will be so loud until the nation will begin taking notice of us. Oh. Ask, there is a church somewhere. Have you heard of that church where people don't get sick? Have you heard of it? That church, when you're poor, join it. Even if you're not seriously saved, pretend. To be a city of refuge, I tell you. I tell you. See, I know that God is using me to redefine Christianity in this nation. I'm aware. <laughs> I'm aware. I'm aware that soul has been rejected. And I will not help the devil to kill soul. It's not my, it's not my work. But the Bible says, when the time came, a Goliath appeared. And Saul could not kill Goliath. That's why I know God is putting concrete word in my mouth that will solve the problems of your life. I'm aware of that. I'm not fighting the fathers. They're running their race. But I have my own race. Don't confuse me for a teacher. He teaches the word nonsense. Let me correct your thinking. I'm not a Bible teacher. Don't confuse me for a pastor. Don't call me Pasi. I'm not a pastor. I am an arrow. <laughs> Short 
to the hearts of the nations with the gospel of the miraculous and the reality of the Godhead. And God gave me three arms in this assignment. So don't confuse me for a pastor. That's why I have pastors around me who can visit you. If you don't see my face, don't complain. I have not been sent. Prophets do crazy things. So if you're planning to do in this church, don't come with the mentality of where you're coming from. For example, we don't announce death in this church. Even if it's my wife who has died, it will not be announced. My father passed on, it was not announced. True or false? I buried him on Saturday, Sunday I was here. You didn't even know. We are not the church to sit there and say, hey, praise the Lord. Kuna matanga and dogo so and so. Oto nakutana Antonio Grills. Nonsense. He's not on this altar. Out here. Not that we are insensitive. No, we have groups. We have hospitality. We have, we have ways on how to handle such things. But we don't announce evil things on the altar. These are not of life, not of death. I know they will fight me. But I'm also aware the spirit of glory and of Christ rests on the persecuted. I'm aware. And if you think we have given, wait 2016, we shall introduce other offerings. Yeah. Offering of entering the temple. <laughs> I have about 12 offerings telling you one major I will not mention it because we all love it's a Christian station uh, they, 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 they were pushing for me I think they had me on truth and one of the elders there bought our book and, and uh, they said oh, we need this voice here so when they sat in their board they said is that every match we don't want the basket here it is well if they don't want basket there is no one who ever wishes to be poor including a witch he cannot tell on your birthday I wish you long life and poverty so we will give and give huh. shortly I will introduce basket of car keys so if you are giving car keys basket uh, the yellow basket if you're giving title deed, the red basket. If you're not ready for that, please leave us now. There are three doors and windows. Jump. I'm not raising a congregation. I'm raising an army. In the valley of dry bones, after bone came to bone, the Bible doesn't say it was a great congregation. The Bible says it was a great army. It was a great army. And no more usher in miracle life shall be counted a pastor somewhere else. Because they shall be so powerful. The Bible school of just uh, uh, whatever. What we learn there, everyone in Bible school is can pastor a church now. True or false? So please get ready. My advice is follow me like a sheep. You know, a sheep has no mind of his own. He didn't hear me. When the shepherd crosses the road, all sheep, where there is a trailer coming, they just cross. So the 2016, don't understand what I do. Just believe. Okay? Yeah. I'll tell you like Paul. Chapter 11 of 1 Corinthians. He says, imitate me as I imitate Christ. And your laughter shall be louder and louder and louder. Please close your Bibles. I have three prayers to pray about your stars. Then I release you. Go and conclude your festive season. Kutoka kesho, meals na pungua. Na nyelewa. Na Tuesdays na pungua. Wednesday. 
by Thursday is a spirit walking. Rise up on your feet. Begin to cover yourself and your star with the blood of Jesus. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. I cover my star with the blood of Jesus Christ. Maraka. Cover your life with the blood of Jesus. My destiny in the blood of Jesus. Mazu. Cover your heavens with the blood of Jesus. I soak my heavens with the blood of Jesus. Mazetere bo shata la babosa. My star, I soak in the blood of Jesus. I soak in the blood of Jesus. I soak my finances in the blood. I soak my 2016 in the blood of Jesus. Cover your love in the blood of Jesus. I soak my health. I soak my children. I soak my spouse. I cover my finances in the blood of Jesus. I cover my ministry in the blood of Jesus. I cover my ministry in the blood of Jesus. You will point to the sky as if you're pointing to somebody. You are dressing your star. You say, my star, my star. My star, my star. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Reject evil voices from my father's heart. Reject evil voices from In my father's heart. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Reject now, reject now, reject now, reject now, my star, my star, reject evil voices from my father's house, in the name of Jesus, reject, reject now, reject now, reject in the name of Jesus, reject now. In the name of Jesus. Maseke Penda Lima Cotoria Maria Gadas. Reject. Reject now. Reject now. Reject now. Reject Continue. Now. Masoko Boshata. Continue. Reject now. In the name of Jesus. Continue. Reject. In the name of Jesus. Continue. Reject. Continue. Continue. Reject now. Reject now. Reject now. Reject. Continue. 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 From my father's house. From my mother's house. In Masaka Panda Labakate. Reject now. Reject now. Reject now. In the name of Jesus. Masopo Kotoba. Rakapo Sotoba. Rikapo. In Jesus' name we pray. Keep your finger up to the sky. Any evil garment. Any evil garment. Covering my star. Covering my star. Now, there you can see my marital star, my business star, my whatever star. Any evil garment. Any evil garment. Continue. Covering my ministerial star. Catch fire. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Maseko poshete kabalaboshata. Raka pa 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 pa. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. You are a liar. Catch fire. Soko poshe kete lebo. Continue. Raka posa kata. Continue. Rababa baba baba kata. Continue. Continue. Raka posa kobo. Catch fire. Catch fire. Covering you are a liar. Star. You are a liar. My financial star. Covering my marital star. You are a liar. Pray, 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 pray. Catch fire. Catch fire. In Jesus' name we pray. The last prayer. I'd like you to gather the strength that you have in your inner man to pray this prayer. <laughs> Let no one's voice be louder than your own. Pray this prayer and see if the remaining days of this year depends on this prayer. Yes. Pray this prayer with boiling anger. Pray it until there is a witness in your spirit that something has happened. My star! My star! My star! My star! Jesus Christ, 
Shine, 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 by the power in the blood of Jesus, I touch every star here. I declare your stars are free from the powers of your father's house. Wherever they have buried your star, maybe in the sand, maybe in the waters, maybe in the river, maybe in dry places, wherever they have buried your star, I said the fire of God. I command your star to appear. 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 In the name of Jesus. Any star is connected to the father's house, mother's house. Any star here that is in the same time zone with your parents or with your siblings. Oh, Mahande, Mahana, Brahisko, Prose, Brake, Erika, Tora, Brakanda, in the name of Jesus, I deliver your star Oh my God, I command the altar and the evil priest of the altar to catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Catch fire. Any evil decree from your parents, from your colleagues, from your spouses, from your former pastor, from your enemies, the evil decree fighting your glory. I command the ones to die. I command the ones to die. I command the negative ones to die. Could there be anyone here whose star has been programmed for death between today and 31st? I cancel the appointment. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I cancel the appointment now. I cancel the appointment. You shall not die. 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 In the name of Jesus. Any stolen virtues from your star. Virtues to make you rich. Virtues to promote you. Yes. Virtues to cause you to gain speed in life. Yes. Any virtues stolen from your star. Yes. I command you to recover them back. Recover them back. Recover them back. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Please, with a loud voice, thank God for the prayers. With a loud voice, thank God. Thank him. In Jesus. Forget all that we pray. 
Reverend Joseph Matko, has just given you the keys for a victorious life in Jesus Christ. We believe your life will not be the same again. It cannot be otherwise. Please share with us your testimony to reach Reverend Joseph Matko. Please call 0723810922. Email info at miraclelifeassembly.org. God bless you. Kakatifu ketie chumbinguni, ukakubali kuacha.